What's going on, guys? I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to uh, to join. Um, but today we have a couple topics I'm gonna cover. I was just checking my live stream here. Um, so a couple things I'm gonna talk about today. I'm on my computer real quick before I step outside and show you guys the bus while everybody's joining. If you guys are here watching me. Leave me a comment here. I just said hello to everybody over here. It's my first time using the computer at the same time to see um, if you guys can hear me. So, first thing I'm going to talk about today is the AC condenser. And the second thing I'm going to talk about is the first official trip for my bus company. That's I take a look at the bus. We're going to come in here have a special way to contact me so that they can... Real quick, before we step outside, since we're waiting at this coming up in September 18th, and if you guys don't know what the NJTHC, NJTHC is, um, it's a group of individuals who are striving to um, preserve the transportation buses of the state of New Jersey. So as you can see here, there's a video by Neoplan Dude. There's uh, one of my videos there. If you look up NJTHC on YouTube, you're going to see all the different kinds of buses they, they have. And... Also, people bring their own buses. And so there's an event that's coming up on September, in September 18th. And so I am providing a shuttle service from Lakewood, New Jersey to um, to the event that's in Trenton. And you can learn more about that by looking at the description. I'm going to leave a link to how to get tickets for that. Or you can just go directly to Trenton if you have a vehicle. But if you want to help support me, if you guys know I bought this bus, I'm trying to line up my first gig. So I got like the website set up already. I'm going to go back and show you. So basically, real quick before we step outside, I'm trying to show you how I designed the website. So you're going to come to this page here. If you go to if you go to cerulebus.com, that's my last name, C-E-R-U-L-L-I bus. It's not really right in front of your face, so you click on more, and you click on the New Jersey Historical Bus Fest. You can go all the way to the bottom of the page and click on it, too. You can go all the way down to the bottom and click on that. And so, I can find the cursor and the mouse. Uh, it's just showing you some pictures and about what the event is. The event is $10 per person if you're not a member. If you are a member, it's free. If you live in Tom's River or Newark or Philadelphia or New York or Atlantic City, I show you how you can get to Lakewood by take by the taking the public transportation to get there, and that way you can use my shuttle bus and try to help me out because, uh, like I said, it's my first trip ever that I'm organizing. So, so that's that. I just want to show you that real quick, um, and I got some videos of the buses they have and oh. A lot of pictures of the different of the buses not, that's not a bus that's a mistake but some of the buses they have there that you're gonna see and they have a lot of new stuff now so if you're gonna if you want to go there I recommend you go if you want to help me out go to Lakewood and take my shuttle bus if you want to buy tickets you do it online you click on two trips you can leave at 8 in the morning and the departure trip is at 245 or you could get picked up at Lakewood at 10 a.m. and you can and come back at 4.45. And it's really soon. It's why you agree to the times. Obviously, you know the bus that I have. This is, I think I need to change this because people are, a lot of people are asking. I to $22 per seat. That's for a round trip. That's to go there and go back. I feel like that's kind of reasonable. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, it's a 45 minute drive. Then I got to deadhead back and do the second trip. And if, and, um, just try the thing out and see how it works. So I got that all set up. So I'm going to move on to the next thing that is going outside. We're going to go take a walk outside to the bus. I'm going to show you what I changed on the bus. And I'm going to show you what my plans are for the bus. The guys that have been following me, you know exactly what my big next step is. After we take a look at the bus, we're going to come right back in here. And we're going to find out who the winner is for the last video. So if you're a follower and you know, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're not a follower... I'm going to give you a second to go back and watch the other video before this. You're probably going to have about 20 minutes to go watch the other video, but the other video is an hour long, so there's no way you're going to be able to figure out what you got to do in order to win the special prize from the last video. So all I could say is 
in this video I'm gonna be giving out another prize so you gotta watch everything in this video if you do want to win the second prize and it's gonna be the same process it's gonna be the same thing as last time 30 seconds real quick let me pop my shoes on we're gonna go step outside and we're gonna walk to the bus and I'm gonna show you what's new I'll be right back Right, guys got the keys so take a step outside and as I'm walking right now um, I have a good friend mechanic that's helped me out do this I'm just gonna lock my doors up and then okay. so yeah, I had a mechanic help me do what I'm going to show you. So, let you guys know the next thing for me to do is replace that AC condenser. So, the AC condenser is a big deal. Um, I'm hoping that there's not more problems than... We already know which we don't know until we move on to the next thing the first thing we know is we definitely need to replace the condenser second thing obviously we have to charge the system but we don't want to charge the system if we know we're going to have leaks in the ac system ac system and i'm going to show you right now why we think we might have some problems with the ac system so there's the bus there Greater New Haven Transit District, retired bus 575. Originally 12 seats in there. Put another row of seats. Alright, so let me show you guys. Because I have stuff back here. So, back here is the old condenser on the bottom. It was hard to get out. My mechanic, we broke it apart. There's the seats there. I put, this is a new row of seats. You can see it's a different color gray. But yeah, so the whole old, I, I could have took this out myself, but I want my mechanic to do it so he can see how the new one's supposed to go back together. There's some issues, which I'm going to show you right now with, with what I'm worried about. But that's the old condenser. It's garbage. We just saved it, I don't know, in case we need to get parts, because it's got like these mud flap things on the side that the new one didn't come with, so we might take those off. That's the new one there. So, got to work on getting that. I was thinking about putting one seat here facing this way. I left too much space in between these two seats, because if I would have put that seat up a little bit more, I would have been able to put another row here. Also thinking about taking out the wheelchair lift and putting two rows on that side maximize my profit but that's later on right now it's a 14 passenger for a non-cdl um so i'm going to show you what we did here so yeah before there was a condenser here that was hanging down that was not looking good but so we finally got it off this part here has to come out this was the top part of the condenser, so we got to take that out, but we got most of the stuff out of there. So if you look down in here, you'll see that the support beam for the condenser here, you see this? This is, this is bent up, 
and the front one is bent down. So when an accident happens, something pushed this, this down and this up. So what we have to do is either we have to cut this, heat it up and bend it up, because we can't heat it here because the bus is fiberglass. We don't want it to catch on fire. So we're going to heat it up, bend it back, and re-weld it. And then over here it's kind of rusty, so we're going to do the same thing, but or we might try to find a new metal, a new beam, and just to get everything straight so we can mount the new one properly. So the next thing, the next problem is these lines. So this line, this was actually part of the condenser. We couldn't, we couldn't get this off. So we just cut the metal around the condenser and leave that on there. I'm going to try to find, I'm going to try, this has like a lot of rust on it. You might not be able to see because it's dark here. And, avoid, and I don't want to pay all the money for Freon for 134A and this is going to be leaking. So what I'll do is I'm going to try to find this. The lines are okay, but the, the fitting the fitting here has to be replaced. And that fitting there, same thing, it's really rusted. And this, this line goes over here and it's the same fitting. It just goes from one side here and the one side there. So I'm going to try to find these three metal fittings. Hopefully it doesn't take four months like the condenser took. I'm going to try to find a local guy who could just bust these out for me. I took pictures of them. I got a friend who knows AC people, so I'm going to try to try to get that taken care of. Um, so yeah, the lines are good. Going to replace the fittings. That's what, that's what we're doing next. Um, we got the whole thing out of here. This has to come out. And for some reason it's held on with rivets, which was kind of tough because you can't really get up top of it. I don't really know why they did it like that, but the fender, the uh, fairings. I got new fairings because it's a little tore up. I ordered those the same time I ordered the condenser. Those still didn't come yet. So I'm waiting for those. I got my chrome hubcap covers there. The um the fiberglass cover that goes around the condenser from goes all the way around, that was damaged. So I'm thinking of cutting it here and just maybe retrofitting some type of piece of aluminum or fiberglass because this company that made this part here is no longer in existence. They don't make fiberglass pieces like that anymore. That's what my supplier told me, that I could order an aluminum one, but it was going to be really, really long and the shape wasn't going to be right and I'd have to cut it to fit. So if I'm going to cut it to fit and I'm going to pay all the extra money for that, I might as well just get some aluminum, cut it right here, have a piece of aluminum that comes down like here and... I got support beam thing there that I can use for that as well. So that's what I think the plan is going to be. So we'll see. And I got the chrome hubcap in the front as well. So yeah, the inside is the same. I didn't do anything on the inside since the last couple of videos you saw. I added the seat in the back. Just a little junk in there. The condenser boxes and stuff like that um so that's my main goals right now is trying to get the condenser in there i have an event on september 18th i was telling you guys about that a little earlier but i'm going to go in more information about that before i tell you who the raffle winner is in just a moment but um i'm hoping that every when i hit this blue button if you guys know what this does let me know because it lights up blue when i turn it on but i don't know if that has anything to do with the ac if that's the main switch for the ac the blower, blower motor up top never turned on, but when I first got the bus, nothing ever, nothing worked in the back. Like the doors didn't work, the lights didn't work. I had to go up and to the control, the Goshen box up there, and rewire everything. So, and I got not everything, but I rewired what I wanted to rewire as far as the doors and the lights and stuff. So. So yeah, got the battery cutoff switch so the battery doesn't die anymore. The battery died when I was taking my girlfriend to the hospital for a pregnancy checkup and we went to the wrong hospital and we broke down and had to call my friend to come give us a jump start, which was a hassle. So I said, I'm not going through that anymore. Put a new, brand new battery in there right away. And um, I still kept the battery cutoff switch anyway because the battery does suck juice because... There's emergency exit lights that stay on and stuff, so, but, um, yeah, so, that's what I'm dealing with now. You guys have any questions real quick before we go back inside and I'll show you the, uh, I showed you guys the website for the booking system that I built a couple videos ago. I kind of briefly showed you the booking system now, um, 
but in the beginning of the video I showed you the, the booking system how I set it up so you could order the tickets for the for the different different events that I plan so I have my first event plan and that's the New Jersey Heritage the Trans New Jersey Transportation Heritage Commission and that's a bunch of historic buses that have been preserved by this agency New Jersey buses mostly but there's other different buses as well so and the, this is nothing special but it is a new New Haven Greater New Haven Transit District uh, transit bus and it does have destination signs but it's still a Ford it's nothing special but plan to use this as a shuttle from Lakewood where they store those historic buses to the actual destination in Trenton where the event is taking place so in the beginning of the video you would see how you can get to Lakewood and how that's a, a hot spot um, for that so if you want to help me out if you're in an area and you want to use the shuttle bus just go to the website and you can buy the ticket and it's $22 and that's round trip going there and coming back I have two different trips two different times that you could do that and I'll show you that again real quick before the raffle and then I'll show you also real quick what the second raffle is going to be so the first raffle is a picture that was in here it's in here somewhere I, I put it on that seat but I've had a passengers I think I moved it so it didn't get damaged so it's it is in the bus but I'll um if you watched the last video, you know exactly what the raffle was for, and this raffle is for those people anyways. Alright. So, I'm going to lock it up now. And we're going to go back inside, and we're going to see who the winner is. And the winner... I'll tell you what you have to do. Oh yeah, I didn't show you guys my business cards real quick. The one that's sitting on the floor is probably not in the best condition, but... That's my first business card before I didn't know what my business plan was. And my business plan now is set to, I don't want to say it's fixed route, but it's scheduled scheduled trips. But I still will be able to offer, you know, groups of people that want to go places, I guess. Because it's gonna be weekend 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 only fixed trips. So yeah. Got the one eight hundred number, one eighty eight number. With the name 188 Cerulli, Cerulli Bus, Cerulli So, so I got a lot of everything lined up, so everything can fit into place. You know, got the website built and the number built. The phone system is built, and um, I got to change a couple things with the phone system because it's kind of weird when you call it and you push one for information. It's like an automated thing, but it's 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 not. The way I want it anymore because I set it up for like as if people were gonna call me and they wanted to go places, but now I'm designing the trips and telling them where to go, so now I have to go back and change it. But yeah, so but the 1 800 number phone system is pretty built, pretty much built, and it's done. And the website is pretty much built and it's done. There's a couple things I got to change on it, but it's pretty much ready to go on there. So, all right, guys, you saw what I did to the bus. Lock this up. You guys know this is a new door that I use. I took the key out of the took this key part out of the old door, put it in the new door, so I don't have to get another different key. I don't want to have too many keys. And so everything worked properly. Yeah. Gotta get a new mirror. They want five hundred dollars for the mirror, but uh you can't just buy this glass, so I'm thinking about retrofitting a piece of glass here. I'll figure that out later on. For now I guess I'm looking over my shoulder to see. Looking over my shoulder to see. So, yeah. so now we're going back inside and I'm going to show, I'm going to move on to the next part of the video where I just remind you guys of the trip that's coming up if you live in the New Jersey New Jersey metropolitan area in New York, Pennsylvania. 
and you want to check out a lot of historic buses from New Jersey and other people that are bringing their buses from different places. You've, if you guys follow me, you've seen me go to these kind of events. I'd like to take you there if you want to go, and all you have to do is either go there yourself or you can meet in Lakewood and I'll pick you up if you want to, if you want to do that. So, and if you want to meet and have a conversation. So now I'm going to go inside. I'll be right back. I'll touch base with you guys in about 30 seconds. As I get inside, I'll go over the event one more time, and then we'll let you guys know who won the raffle. We're going to all do this together live, so if you're waiting to see who wins the raffle, stay tuned. We'll be right back. at my laptop let me just turn on the internet because my internet is not always on so here just a moment connected now and um, again real quick just to touch base on the special trip that I designed I didn't really design I designed the trip the shuttle bus trip from Lakewood to um, the bus fest but uh, dollars that's a round trip to go there and go back you're going to spend six hours and 45 minutes there to see all kinds of different buses they let you ride them they let you check them out you can hear the engines and everything like that so and there's all kinds of different buses there let me show you some of the buses that we saw because the live video stopped for a second and my internet and my um obviously you can see this mini rt they definitely still have that one a uh, bus 1596 that's a grooving or it's a flexible actually I'm sorry they had that one still um, 3778 is cool it's a suburban flexible bus you can check that out um, 1752 is a Broadway bus that's a Jersey City bus 57 again 37 you didn't see that one yet that's that's a good bus that sounds great that's crazy it's got that lean is that bus? I don't really know what the kind of bus it is. It's an MCI. I believe that's an MCI 9. There's an MCI 9B. There's an MCI 9B. They have 5035. That's 6106 MCI 9A. There's the um, RTS again. There's again the RTS airplane with the destination. There's an MCI 9 right there again from D Camp, which is a New Jersey operator. That's an Altoona, Pennsylvania bus. These are just all, there's a, 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 I think, I don't know if that's a scenic cruiser or not. This year they had, they were showing off the CNG, and it's still the same New Jersey Transit spec. They had that that year, but that bus doesn't, that's not owned by the New Jersey um, NJTHC either. So here's a couple more shots. I love the MCIs. It's MCI9A. There's the Jersey City Broadway bus. 3778, you can see it doesn't have the rear door on there. It's got the suburban seats. 
there's a fish one of the fish bowls they got that's uh, Z546 so those are all the pictures I'm gonna show you real quick just just gonna go through the video kind of like real quick to show you some of the buses they have or some of the buses 9057 Hotel Aviation um, thanks to you guys for watching my video I've tried to do charters I don't know how to pull it again, but and uh, yes, I want to do charters and I want to do anything I can to try to be drive people around and be happy. That's my goal. So I'm not going to show you this video right now because my internet bandwidth is limited. Whenever I try to show you the video, it stops, it like freezes up my live stream. But if you really are interested in going to this event, it's only ten dollars and Trenton. It's a little harder to get there, so I decided let me use my new shuttle bus that I bought to bring people from Lakewood, where it usually is, to else is doing that so yeah or you can just type in stuff that i have never filmed yet that a lot of people have, you need to go over and take the bus or whatever to philadelphia to get to lake I'll get you there so all right guys the final thing about the video is the raffle so if you guys were watching the last video you know that in order to in order to okay i have a lot of videos playing at the same time so that's probably why my internet's not working for you I didn't, oh no, this is the video that I'm making right now. That's weird. It's way behind. That's crazy. It's way behind. Um, that's not what I was trying to do. I need to go to the video that I made last time. So let's go to my channel. So in order to win the, the special poster, you have to, you would have had to have watched my last video and you would have known what you had to do. And... You were supposed to leave a comment on my last video. So, if you left a comment, you have a chance at winning the special prize. And if you don't know what the special prize is, it's because you didn't watch the last video. There is a special prize for this video, which we're going to get to at the end. And if you've stayed along, been watching it the whole time, or if you are still here, whatever, you're going to know in a second. So, let's go over to our generator so we're going to find out who won give me a second to do all this because this is my first time doing this filter duplicate users so i'm not going to do that include replies to comments and filter comments based on if no no so it's just going to be a virgin thing so we're going to do it right now If it will work. So there's eight comments. So there's not really a lot of people to choose from. Okay. Okay, maybe this website doesn't work for this. I, I already tested this. Maybe that's not the website I used last time. Yeah, this is the right website. Sorry, guys. Try one time. Mm, this isn't it either. Dang it, man! I had everything. I thought everything was set up properly. So bear with me for a second. It's just uh, everything is blue and black. So it's kind of like all right. Let's try. Okay, here we go. So let me do it. It's starting to get frustrated, guys. I had everything set up to be perfect. Now it's waiting. Okay. Okay. So the winner is, I will stare into your soul. And he said, hey there. If you still do bus vanning, there's a unit I really recommend catching on the Metropolitan Transit Authority in New York City. It's bus 21, 2910. 
The last 2002 MCID 45 under unit ever operating at MTA, as well as the last flip disc or flip DOT display bearing and Detroit diesel powered bus and revenue service. That's actually a pretty good comment because I really like Detroit diesel series buses. I guess the newer ones are, are Cummins, I guess. Um, I will stare into your soul. I guess you're going to have to let me know in the comments and let me know what you think. You left, uh, I, I guess you left five cameras. I'm not really sure what, what this thing's telling me. But, it's definitely telling me that you're the winner. I will stare into your soul. So, if you are ready to claim the prize that you won, all you have with a specific sentence, then email me that sentence with your information on um, my email at bustv at gmail.com. That's bustv bustvchan at gmail.com. Okay? And that's how I'm going to know it's really you. You're going to send me your information and tell me a little bit more about 2910 so I know it's really you. And I will mail out your prize to you within seven days. I do sell stuff on eBay. I have a commercial rate shipping. So I'm actually just going to package it up real quick. Probably going to get it out sooner than that. But, um, so yeah, congratulations. I will steal, I will share your, into your, I will stare in people. Sorry about that. Tell me more about 2910 in your email. And don't forget to leave a long comment so I can verify it's you. Um, and we will get that shipped out to you right away. So thanks a lot, guys, for watching the video. I'm glad you were interested in my bus company and everything I'm doing. Hopefully you're interested in the New Jersey Transportation Heritage, the NJTHC, where you can see on September 18th all these crazy buses. Um, if you want to get there, like I said, I have a shuttle bus. Visit my website, cerulebus.com. It is the New Jersey Historic Bus Festival. I'm going to take you right to this page where you can buy the tickets to get to the festival from Lakewood. And then you gotta you gotta you do have to pay ten dollars if you're not a member of the if you're not a member of the historic bus festival committee, you are gonna have to pay ten dollars to get in. So I appreciate everybody's support. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and leave a lot of comments on this video. Um, every comment you leave is gonna give you a chance to win the next prize. The next prize I'm going to show you in about thirty seconds. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get the prize. Show it to you guys and tell you exactly what you need to do to win. So I will be right back after that. That will be end of the video. And don't forget to, again, like, comment, and subscribe while you're waiting. And if you have any questions, think about them. But don't post them yet because as I walk away, I won't see them pop up. Guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Here we go. I'm two of these photos. The other photo, not two of these photos, but I had two photos that I was giving out. The last photo was the raffle for the last one. This is the raffle for the, this one here. So every time I make a live video, I'm going to try to do a giveaway. The same thing every time. So um, I'm going to do a giveaway every live video. And I promise you guys that. And I have tons of stuff to give away. So the next, this one here, I'm going to be giving away this 7708 New Jersey Transit photo. Where the corner that really is. But I signed up for the 157 Teaneck Express. And it's a little bit dusty. I'll clean it off for you guys because it was, it's was it been on the wall for a while. But it's kind of dusty. 
So I'm gonna give this away to the next to the next person that wins the next raffle. And it has some kind of duct tape on the back or whatever, because I used to hang it with duct tape, and then I decided to use thumbtacks. So it's got holes on the four corners of it. But it's a fully laminated um, photo. And just in case you guys are wondering, I'm gonna try to show you. I'm gonna try to show you how long it is, so give me one second. So it's like 18 or 18 and a half by by like 13. So it's not like huge or anything, but if you guys want a little piece of New Jersey transit history, and this is a photo I took, and I've had it for a long time. Out of way. Sorry, someone's calling me. I gotta get to that call actually, but that if you want to win this, just all you have to do is leave a comment on the video. That's all you have to do. Just like you saw when I chose the last person that won. I'm someone's calling me. Um I have an important call coming in, guys. Just leave a comment on the video if you want to win this. The next video that I make, I will announce the, the winner. The next live video. Machiavelli. What's going on? I don't, I, can, I don't want to answer a call while I'm on a live video, so... Can you just hold on a second, please? Alright. All you got to do is leave a comment on the video. You're going to win this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're laughing at my... <laughs> I like Asian people, if you didn't know that. But that's a whole nother video, alright? My girlfriend's Asian. Uh, you know, my son's gonna be Asian. I have a son on the way, if you guys don't know. Oh my god. Alright, let me guys get to that. I just wanna let you guys know, and if you wanna win this, all you guys do is leave a comment. It's gonna be a randomly generated comment, like I showed you earlier. Um, don't forget to check out the New Jersey Transportation Heritage. If you're going to be in Lakewood and you want a bus trip, it would really, really help me out if you could use my bus. And if you really want, send me a comment. of If you're really interested, I will give you a discount code because I, I, I want to fill all those seats up. So if, you, if you're a special viewer of mine, you live in the metropolitan area here, trust me, I will hook you up. So all you have to do is just let me know. Leave me a comment and I will hook you up with a special code you can put on the website and boom, get your ticket and... You just got to pay the $10 to get in there and spend six hours just riding buses, checking them out, checking out the inside, and just having a fun, good time with other people who enjoy buses with you. So, All right, guys, let me let you go. Thanks for tuning in with me. My personal coach bus, my, my shuttle bus, will be ready soon, hopefully. Um, well, not hopefully, de definitely. I put a disclaimer that the bus might not have air conditioning, but in September, I don't think it's going to be a big issue, to be honest, anyway. So, guys, I don't want to chat your ear off. This could be yours on the next raffle, and the raffle after that, you guys are going to be pretty happy. I want to show you something real quick, too. I have a new flyer water bottle. I never used this yet, but I put it on eBay. If you guys don't know my eBay store, you could watch the video I made before this. I put a link to my eBay in that video. I'm not going to go through the trouble. Just try. It's hard for me to find my freaking eBay store link, so I did put this... Link to this on my last eBay store. If you guys want it, you can buy it on eBay. If not, if nobody's buying it, then I'll... I think I'm asking like 15 bucks for it or something. I don't really remember, but... Um, oh, I found... It, and it, I, I don't want to ramble on. You know what I think I'm going to really give away next time is... I don't remember what I did with it, but I found at, at a special event, the MCI convention. Because New Flyer and MCI is one company now. I had this P Excelsior pin, like a pin you wear... But it's like an Excel. I had I I had an Excelsior pin for all the models, but I don't know what I did with them. But I recently found the one for the uh, the Excelsior Charge, the fully electric um, new flyer Excelsior bus pin that you wear in your shirt. They you pin it to your shirt. So I think I'm gonna find out where that is. I'm gonna give that away next time. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to check out my website, cerulebus.com. Don't forget to check me out on YouTube. You're already on YouTube. Don't forget to check out my Facebook. It's facebook.com/cerulebus. I'm really trying to get my business off. Alright, somebody left a comment, but I can't. It don't go. It disappears so fast. Oh, live chat. Let's see. Scary Barry. What are we talking about? But yeah, 
Chinese ringtones, whatever, you know. Thanks for tuning into my video. I'm going to try to give you guys more notice next time. I gave you guys like 10 minutes notice I was going to make a live. No one really watched this one too much. So, again, next video, more prizes. This video, just leave a comment. Not a, a live chat is not a comment, by the way. You have to you have to go back after the video is ended and leave a regular comment because that's how the thing's going to choose someone who won. The live chat is not considered a comment, just so you guys know that. I hope you understand that. So, take care of yourself, guys. Be safe. Apparently, the fucking United States... Oh, excuse my language. It's apparently, the United States government, CDC, whatever, saying you gotta wear masks again. Uh, that's a whole other story. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, but... Go back and watch the video if you miss anything. I, I, I let you guys know everything I wanted to tell you already, so... I can't really, uh... I know there's a lot of... There's more viewers now than there's ever been the whole night, but you guys are just gonna have to go back and watch the whole video to see what we talked about. And, uh... The main thing is, is... My bus company's got my first trip, and it's about to be fixed, so visit my website, cerulebus.com, guys. And you guys take care of yourself, be safe, and thanks so much for your support. Everybody that's, well, my viewers that have bought stuff for me from eBay saying you're a viewer, I just bought this to help you out, like I can't, I'm surprised, but I mean, I appreciate it, you know, you guys are, I didn't realize I had so many people that really support me out there, you know, so you guys all take care of yourself. And you guys have a good night. Have a good week. It's Wednesday, so take care of yourself, guys. Remember me. I'm your friend, Bust TV Champ. All right, take care, guys.